Honorable Prime Minister of India, Shri Narendra Modi Ji, Honorable Chief Minister of Delhi, Shrimati Rekha Gupta Ji, Honorable Chief Minister of Odisha, Shri Mohan Charan Maji Ji, my colleague in the ministry, Shri Jitin Prasad Ji, distinguished industry leaders, students and guests from all around the world. Namaste and a very warm welcome to Semicon 2025. Friends, just a few, ago, few years ago, we met for the first time to make a new beginning. Driven by our Prime Minister's far-sighted vision, we launched the India Semiconductor Mission. We collected together a team of globally renowned industry leaders and we started the new journey with laser-sharp focus on execution. And here we are today, in a short span of three and a half years, we have the world looking at India with confidence. Today, construction of five semiconductor units is going on at a rapid pace. Pilot line of one unit is completed and we just presented the first Made in India chip to Honorable Prime Minister. Two more, two more units will start production in a few months from now. The design of five more units is progressing very well. Ecosystem partners for chip manufacturing are all here. Overall, we can say that the foundation of this foundational industry, foundation of this foundational industry is laid very well. Friends, we are living in unprecedented times. Global policy turmoil has created huge uncertainty. In these turbulent times, India stands as a lighthouse of stability and growth. In these uncertain times, friends, you should come to India because our policy is stable. We have managed the semiconductor mission in a transparent and professional way. We have attempted to cover all the important manufacturing sectors from power electronics to consumer electronics to automobiles to defense and strategic sectors. Our decisions are backed by rigorous analysis done by professionals from the semiconductor industry. Friends, you should also come to India because demand is strong. Our electronics production has grown six times in the last decade and electronics exports have grown eight times. Demand for semiconductors is increasing every quarter as Make in India propels new plants in every sector. So this is the time for you to be in India. Friends, you should also come to India because we have a deep pool of talent. You might remember that in 2022, we promised 85,000 semiconductor engineers over 10 years. And we took that target to a whole new scale. Our Prime Minister always inspires us to think beyond the limits. And that's what we did in this semiconductor mission. Today, we have provided the latest EDA tools to 278 universities. Which country in the world can claim this kind of talent development program, friends? And by now, 60,000 engineering students have already worked on these EDA tools for more than 13 million hours. And the 17 student teams who have designed the chips and taped them out, these chips were today presented to Honorable Prime Minister. Friends, this kind of talent development shows our commitment, our Prime Minister's long-term vision to making India a semiconductor nation. Friends, you should also come to India because we have a vibrant startup ecosystem. Our startups are earning the confidence of investors. Every day we hear investors investing in the design uh, semiconductor startups. Their IPs are increasingly embedded in products of leading international manufacturers. Industry leaders, you should also come to India because we are now on a path to becoming a product nation. Our design capabilities, which are very well known, our deep talent pool, again growing exponentially, and now the manufacturing facilities which are getting developed in India will give you a unique advantage. You will grow with India's growth. I would like to reiterate what our Prime Minister said at Semicon 2024. Our Prime Minister had said, when chips are down, you can bet on India. The recent Q1 growth 
of 7.8 percent is a proof of what a prime minister said india is a dynamic economy full of resilience and potential i once again welcome you all and thank you so much for being a part of this historic journey thank you bharat mata ki jai